Every single one of our operators out here, all they want to do is run that crane. Roughly, it's got about 190,000 pounds of counterweight. It's got 224 foot of boom. Yeah, it's a big crane. I'm Anthony Canales, superintendent for Dragados Flatiron. We're at Conejo in Selma, California. Today, I'm out here on the CP23 segment of the High Speed Rail Project. I'm in the Central Valley, uh, Fresno County, and this 650 ton crane is lifting these 150,000 pound concrete girders as part of the uh, structural reinforcement for one of the rail segments. This particular district and area has never had a job of this size before. My name is Jody Recheck. I'm a business agent with the Operating Engineers Local 3. I've probably got uh, 100 operators working on the high-speed rail. The work has never slowed down, and uh, it's keeping a lot of guys busy. So this is a uh, uh, 1160 uh, Liber uh, crawler lattice boom crane probably the Cadillac or the Mercedes of cranes. Jeff Brackett and I am working for DFJV, that's DeGardos Flatiron Joint Venture. We've talked about this job for decades that this was happening. I can remember when I was just journeying out, they're all, we're not gonna have enough crane operators and enough blade operators. For DFJV is like 60 some miles long been a lot of opportunities for young people, people who haven't had any experience to come and they're starting out on this, this humongous job. They're supporting the iron workers, putting in the reinforcing steel for the, the footing that is going to be part of the, a, a wall. California just received $4.2 billion in extra funding for this project to continue. It really is an extraordinary feat of the skill and work of our members.